In this tutorial, I shall show how we can override the count of result in data table. Here we have one data table with 20 rows of actual data. In that table, I just wanted to add extra row which will represent additional column and will not be the part of the actual data. So actually I wanted to display 20 entries as a text instead of 21 entries. So for that I shall create a javascript function. I am going to call it inside the init complete function. For now we add static value of actual row count as 20. Just inspect element and find out the id of that div copy it we shall use its id to get text inside it we shall split it by space and convert it into an array in for loop first we shall find out whether the specific array position has a numeric value to it or not because we don't want to replace the text then we shall only replace numbers and only those numbers which are greater than 20. After the end of the loop, we shall override the text in same id. So if we refresh, we shall see that it is showing 20 entries text. However, if we change the length per page or change page numbers it will again go back to 21 entries text so for that first copy the table id on its page change event we shall write some jquery if we change page number it shows an alert box but it won't change the text even if we call the function so to fix that, we have to delay its execution by using the set timeout function. The time delay will be 1 second, call our function inside it. However, the output behaves weirdly, so we will hide it when the page changes. And we shall show it when the output becomes ready. To display same output when the page length is changed, copy paste the whole code and replace page with length. And now your output will display no more than 20 entries text. You can copy paste the whole code from the link given in the description. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe.